Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. And another heavyweight news and notes mashup video today, starting with Tyson Fury, who's having quite the week on social media, back and forth with various people, also calling Alexander Usyk, the unified champion, a little steroid man. Who's he reacting to now? Well, it's Derek Chisora who's spoken to Talk Sport, and this is just a quote of a couple of the things that he said. Chisora saying, I'll go with AJ. AJ's punch power is unbelievable. And this is talking about a fight with Joshua and Fury. If AJ fights Fury, he has to go on him straight away, blast him out. He can't box him. If he boxes with him, he loses. Also in the same interview saying of uh, Joshua Usyk too, I think AJ wins second time around. I asked him if he watched the fight back. He said he only watched four rounds because he didn't like the way he boxed. I asked him what he's going to do. He said, you'll see. So Tyson Fury, though, reacting with his own statement via Twitter. This is a message for Derek Chisora. I've just seen that you said you think AJ would blast me out. Never in a million years. If the biggest puncher in history couldn't blast me out, and Vladimir Klitschko couldn't blast me out, a big old bodybuilder can't blast me out, my friend. So, Dell, he ain't got the bottle to fight Usek again. Usek will smash him next time properly. Never mind beat him on points and knock him out. But listen, it only takes one man like me. There's only ever been one man on these shores, and he called the Gypsy King. So it remains to be seen if we'll ever see that fight. So I don't want to get into the who's going to do what, because who knows if it'll actually happen. But um, you can't say Fury doesn't keep the division interesting with some of his trash. But one of Tyson Fury's uh, stablemates, Daniel Dubois, believes Joshua does have a chance in the rematch, saying, and this is via frankwarren.com, he could possibly win the rematch and has a chance. He's saying all the right things about changing up, coming in with a, a different attitude. So we'll see. And on the training situation, he says he's got to do what's right for him and look out for number one. If it's a right decision he feels he needs to make, then so be it. For me, it's always you have to change things up when they go stale. And when someone something is broken, you need to try and fix it. Good luck to him. So very sort of uh, measured comments there from Daniel Dubois, who himself would like to fight Joshua at some point. But of his plans, he says, let's see in the next couple of fights and where it goes. I want to take one fight at a time. I want to be up there at the top level, fighting the best, winning a world title and holding on to it for a good long time. That is my main aim and all is all I can say. And just uh, circling back to Tyson Fury. So he is also on his uh, Twitter spoken of a potential clash with Francis Ngannou, the USC heavyweight. I think of the clash of the Titans, Fury versus Ngannou, I think very excited very excited i think this would be an absolutely amazing fight las vegas the world would want to see it i mean whether that fight could come off at some point it's a bit unclear especially this year fury seemingly has other things to do but i guess we'll see i mean you do have to you don't have to look far over history in different areas where top heavyweights have faced guys out of wrestling and other disciplines. So it's a possibility, but um, in 2022, I'm not so sure. Francis Ngannou would love it because it would easily be a career-high payday for him. Meanwhile, if we move on to uh, Anthony Joshua just quickly, so his promoter, Eddie Hearn, of potential training changes for Joshua says he's been working hard. Obviously, his trip to America and subsequently training in the UK with various people, trainers flying in, I think AJ will make an announcement when camp starts, which I guess will be the end of January, early February, but he's working hard to get it right. A lot of people have said, do you think it's risky to bring in a new trainer? I flip that and say, do you think it's risky to not be comfortable with your setup or surroundings? He's put the work in to make sure he gets it right. I guess there will be an announcement regarding his training team when camp gets underway. So I will be expanding on some of the related issues with Joshua, this being one of them, in a video on Patreon this week. Uh, Robert Hellenius is trying to petition the WBA to be made the WBA mandatory. So Hellenius is coming off two straight wins over Adam Kovnatsky. Both were WBA eliminators, not named as final eliminators at the time. 
even though the PBC broadcast after both fights said he was now the WBA mandatory. But Hellenius talking to Sky Sports says, right now we're waiting for a formal response from the WBA. This is my first priority. My lawyer has notified WBA in writing. I've paid sanctioning fees and there is no more deserving contender to fight Usyk in the WBA than me. I fully expect to be officially named mandatory. I've earned it and I will fight outside of the ring as hard as I fight inside of the ring for my opportunity. And of course, I covered in another video, he does want a Tyson Fury fight and will be having a camp going into a camp just in case that opportunity does arise. So I think Hellenius keeping all options open, pursuing all avenues like the WBA here. But the WBA, it is always risky getting into bed with them and expecting to get results because there's been a number of fighters over the years who've just gone into this vortex because they've had multiple belts, interim titles, all sorts of stuff. It's never really really clear what's going on as it is after Hellenius beat um, Kovnatsky the first time out of nowhere he was made the gold champion at the time which really didn't seem to mean much and hasn't really done much for Hellenius as yet and uh, rounding out this uh, heavyweight news and notes mashup video the self-proclaimed goat Christopher Lovejoy has announced that he will be back in the ring soon saying a new fight date heavyweights Christopher Lovejoy and DeAndre Savage will be returning to the ring Friday February 11th in Mexico with Friday night fights in Tijuana so DeAndre Savage, if you didn't know, was a fighter that Christopher Lovejoy is managing, I guess, a protege, so to speak. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.